Hello there, I'm Chornet. Welcome to our channel. Today we brought to you do it yourself modern and luxurious sofa sets or coach design ideas for small scale manufacturing. This video contains more than 350 collection of modern luxurious sofa sets or coach design ideas which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, Please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. A coach, also known as a sofa, futon, or chesterfield, is a piece of furniture for sitting two or three people. It is commonly found in the form of a bench with upholstered armrests and often fitted with springs and tailored cushions. Although a coach is used primarily for sitting, it may be used for sleeping. In homes, coaches are normally put in the family room, living room, den or lounge. They are sometimes also found in res non-residential settings such as hotels, lobbies, commercial offices, waiting rooms and bars. The sofa is surely one of our favorite pieces of furniture and this is not a surprise because much of our time is spent sitting or lying in comfort on a nice sofa with friends, spouses, livings or family or even with our pets the sofa has become much more than just a piece of furniture because it allows us to enjoy all kinds of experiences stories, secrets, and fantastic moments. But, do you know the story of a sofa? This is a really a piece of furniture that has taken on a lot of importance in the last hundred years only. According to legend, we owe all this coach comfort and enjoy, we enjoy today to the ancient sultans of the Arab countries who were the first to make use of this kind of furniture as a throne. But, unlike the conventional chairs of the day, cushions and fabrics were added to make them much more comfortable. There is also a theory that the ancient Egyptians used something similar to our modern day sofa, but it was not quite as comfortable and effective for rest and relaxation as the ones used later by the Arabs. However, in more modern times, it was the Romans who introduced new uses for the sofa. In ancient Rome, the sofa was known as the tri triclinium and it was placed in dining rooms of Roman villas and was used as a place when only the noble could lie down to eat, talk or receive their guests. Neither women, children, nor slaves could enjoy those privileges at that time. Luckily, all this has changed today. But for ages, the sofa was a luxury product used only by the rich and fortunate.
In the 1800s, furniture makers like Thomas Chippendale started to circulate pattern books displaying and recording the designs of the age. These designs were both elegant and functional. Chippendale preferring seats deep enough to be used as an occasional bed. Gradually, sofas stopped being something that only royals and the very rich could afford and became a common household necessity. Up to now, sofas had always been something of a statement piece. But as they became more popularized in the early 1900s, they also became less flamboyant and more practical. The Industrial Revolution was a major contributor to the popularization of the sofa as cheaper textiles became available in increasing quantities. Added to this, the invention and mass production of sewing machines and the increasing availability of component parts such as steel for springing, which improved both the comfort and affordability of the sofa. Since sofas were popularized and became part of the homes of the twin of the newly developing middle class in the West with the Industrial Revolution, sofas has become have become essential for just about everybody, occupying a privileged place within our homes and not just in living rooms, but also in bedrooms, on terraces and in gardens. In fact, sofas have become the center point for many scenes in films and TV series, with the plot sometimes being developed around, around the ubiquitous sofa, sofa couch. There are hundreds of examples of films made around sofas as their center point, but to mention just the more popular ones, who can forget the coach in the well-known The Simpsons TV series, where Homer and Marge and the whole family sit down to watch TV, or the Friends TV series, where everyone meets a central perk to, un to the unmistakable orange sofa. Sofas are so successful in bringing out just about everything, those good and bad that they have become the focal points for stories and secrets of the rich and famous, thanks to several TV shows. Presenters and guests sit comfortably on the couch in a relax relaxed atmosphere close to the audience and create an intimate and sometimes very personal space. Politicians, singers, actors, writers and journalists have opened up their hearts in front of millions of spectators, recounting their lives and experiences. This is because we love finding out about the lives of others as told by the people concerned. We can't deny it. If you think about it a little, just imagine how many intrigues, stories and mysteries the humble sofa could reveal if they were able to talk. Sofas like the one in the Oval Room at the White House or Marlene Monroe's fabric armchair or the coach at Kurt Cobain House, right? The most common types of coaches include the two-seater, sometimes referred as the love seat and the sofa. The love seat is designed for seating two people, 
while the sofa has more than two cushion seats. A sectional sofa, often just referred to as a sectional, is formed from multiple sections, typically two, three and four, and usually includes at least two pieces which join at an angle of 90 degrees or slightly greater. Sectional sofas are used to wrap around walls or other furniture. Other variants include the divan, the fainting couch, or backless or partially backed, and the canopy, an ornamental three-seater. To conserve space, some sofas develop beds in the form of a sofa bed, day bed, or futons. A furniture set consisting of a sofa with two matching chairs is known as the Chesterfield suite or living room suite. In the UK, the word Chesterfield was used to refer to any coach in the 1900s. A Chesterfield now describes a deep buttoned sofa usually made from leather with arms and backs of the same height. The first Chesterfield, with its distinctive deep button quilted laser upholstery and lower seat base, was commissioned by Philip Stanofi, Ford's Earl of Chesterfield from 1694 to 1773. In Canadian English, Chesterfield, as equivalent to a coach or sofa, is widespread among older Canadians. According to a 1992 survey conducted in the Golden Horseshoe region of Ontario, the term is quickly vanishing. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to sofas or coaches and their design potential. They could be made budget friendly or highly expensive based on the design and materials used. Sofas could be manufactured from various types of materials. The most popular construction materials are wood and metal for the frame, foam for cushion, and leather or fabric for covering. Sofas come in a huge range of materials, each offering something a little different and commanding different price points. The choice can be overwhelming, but you can narrow down your options by looking at your lifestyle. Households with pets and lots of children will need a sofa made from resilient materials that are easy to clean. If you are living on your own or in a couple, you might be able to get away with something a little more delicate. You should also think about how much use the sofa will get. The main sofa in front of your television will need to be more hard wearing than the ones in a room designed for occasional use. Laser sofas. Laser sofas are classic choice. Choose right and your sofa will always be in style. Note that there are two types of laser. Natural looking anili laser, which displays the qualities of the animal hide and glossier pigmented leather. Laser sofas are highly resistant to stains and scratches. They are also easy to clean with the help of water and sponge. Most liquids won't leave a mark, provided that they are soaked up quickly. Bear in mind that you will be paying a premium for a high quality laser sofa, and the color choice can be limited compared to other materials. That said, when you choose, when you consider the longevity of a laser sofa, this investment usually pays off. 
polyester sofas. Polyester is a form of plastic which can be spun into threads and woven into fabric. In a polystry, it is typically used in conjunction with another material, often acrylic. Polyester fibers are good at retaining their shape and are easily recyclable, though that doesn't make it environmentally friendly. Polyester is also highly stain resistant, also, although oil can soak into the fabric quite easily. Acrylic sofas. Acrylic is another form of synthetic fiber. It offers bold and vibrant colors. It's easy to clean and quick to dry. It's great for outdoor furniture. If you are looking for an outdoor sofa or a sofa for a high traffic area of the house, dirt resistant acrylic is ideal. Bear in mind, however, that acrylic will begin to melt if it is subjected to excessive heat. Acrylic can also trigger an allergic reaction in some people, so be sure that no one in your family suffers from this problem. Linen sofas Linen is a breathable, comfortable, and you won't stick to it in the same way that you might stick to a leather or acrylic sofa. Linen covers can usually be removed for easy cleaning, which is a big plus. That said, the fibers are a little on the thin side, so can wear out faster than other materials, particularly if you are washing the covers frequently. This means linen sofas aren't generally recommended for big families or homes with pets. It's also worth bearing in mind that not all linens are of equal quality. The weave is just as important as the fabric itself. For buying a linen fabric, it's advisable to run your hand over the material to check for tiny knots called slubs. Lots of them indicate a poor quality fabric. This isn't to say that linen is a poor choice of, for a sofa. Quality linen looks and feels great and is, av is available in a wide variety of colors. Velvet sofas. A velvet sofa screams luxury, but that luxury comes at a price. And the material itself can be acquired test. Like the best kinds of polyester, velvet will not wrap or mark easily. Its fibers are also unlikely to snag and or arrival because there are fewer weaves raised. The colors also tend to be extremely vibrant as the fibers are packed much more densely, which means Velvet is ideal for homeowners that want to make a statement. That said, velvet can be produced using either synthetic or natural fibers. Synthetic vibe velvet is generally very robust, while natural velvet needs a little more care. The fibers are vulnerable to direct sunlight, and spillages will be quickly soaked up. Velvet also tends to attract pet hair. Woolen sofas Woolen sofas aren't that common. But that's not because wool isn't a great material for a sofa. It's natural and cozy. Just bear in mind that woolen sofas are usually manufactured using a blend of materials. The main advantage of wool is its durability. The fibers naturally revert to a coiled shape to which they will spring back when overstretched. Wool will also readily absorb dyes and can be easily customized in a range of different colors and styles to suit many different interiors. Wool also doesn't carry a static charge so you won't need to worry about dust and hair clinging to it. 
The major downside of wool is that it needs to be dry cleaned to avoid warping. That coil shape we talked about will be compromised if the fabric absorbs moisture. Polyurethane sofas. PU or polyurethane is a synthetic laser made from thermostatic polymers used in various furniture and shoes. Even though it's a non-natural material, this is considered vegan. The presence of polyurethane coating is pressed on top of a vinyl leather which resembles an old laser material. Besides being less expensive, polyurethane laser doesn't absorb water, making it easier to clean and maintain. It also does not dry out, no matter how long it is used. Furthermore, many colors and styles will suit every character and preference. It's a sustainable material because it uses few resources resource components to produce it. Polyurethane laser is also known as bicast laser or split laser. Polyurethane is a glossy plastic made from a molten resin often used as a man-made alternative to laser. It's naturally elastic and capable of repelling the stains in much the same way as polyester. This is largely because the two materials are the same. The only difference being that one is made from woven fibers and one is a continuous sheet. Take a look at both materials side by side and you will understand the difference. Polyurethane is great for homeowners who would like to look the look of a laser at a lower cost or without the use of animal products. It's glossy and at a glance you might mistake it for the real thing. That said, polyurethane isn't as resilient as the real laser, which probably means you'll be replacing it sooner. As such, it might be worth investing in the real deal if you have the funds to spare. In the long run, it may well work out cheaper. Uh, well, as you can see, um, the designs, they are, some of them are very simple to make uh, with the basic hand tools, while some of the designs are a little bit more complex, requiring you some jigs and fixtures. But overall, you can pick uh, any design at your skill level and try to manufacture. Like I said in the introduction in the introduction section, you can turn this into a very successful small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools. If you have a basic cutting, welding and grinding tools and finishing uh, tools, you can turn it into a very successful small scale manufacturing business. It's providing products very unique products to your local market and then expand from there on. You might have noticed by now that our channel is full of these different design ideas on different products, basically on wooden structures and metal furniture ideas and also full videos featuring full uh, production processes or how-to videos are also featured on this channel so I encourage you to check out the rest of our videos share like this video so that more audience can see the video and get inspired to make their own products I still urge you to subscribe if you haven't already 
and smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Thank you for watching, thank you for staying with us until the end of the video. Stay safe and stay blessed and we hope to see you in our next video. Thank you.